Hi, I'm Chris Hansom and this is my third mission to Haiti with uh, Worldwide Healing Hands and uh, I love the missions. I really gained a lot more than I've given. I feel um, I couldn't have been here without Worldwide Healing Hands. There was no way that these missions would be possible. Um, the first time I came was in 2010 and it was just devastation. Haiti was in such horrible shape and people just trauma, trauma, trauma. Uh, everybody, everybody that I talked to had lost someone in the earthquake. The streets were filled with rubble. The airport was even cracked and when we landed our plane just kind of bounced over the airport, uh, the, the airway coming in. And then we came into the hospital and um, my first night, I worked the night shift in the hospital, I'm a nurse, and um, the first night I was left all by myself with people who didn't speak English, with horrible trauma, and I was just, I didn't know what to do. So I made it through, I made it through that first night without, nobody died, nobody got worse. And uh, so I got through that first night and it was just such an eye-opening experience for me. I was really hooked into doing these missions at that time. Um, coming back four years later, I am so happy to see the advances that the Haitian people have made. Um, the hospital is much, much improved. The whole area, the streets are better. The airport is, the airway is smooth. Um, but the streets are beautiful. The building is going on all over the place. Everything is just moving massively quick. Um, so I feel like we've, we have contributed to that, uh, especially the changes in the hospital and the ripple effect of it going out. Uh, one of the things that I personally did, I met a man who had an orphanage and the meager amount of money that it takes for him to feed, he has now 20 children, he at one time had 74, uh, and they were sleeping under sheets. Uh, they made like tent sheets, uh, out of sheets for them, and they were cooking in a big pot outside to feed these children. And it takes a, a very small amount of money to be able to keep them alive and well. And what he told me I thought was so important. He said they need more than just a roof or a sheet over their head. And they need more than food. They need a sense of community. They need a sense of family. They need an education. And they need love. And he said I can give them all of that. So that convinced me that this mission, these types of things, it's more than just doing medical, it's, it's affecting the whole community, the whole family, the whole area, the neighborhood, and like eventually the country. Uh, so I'm very, very happy to be a part of this. And um, like I said, we couldn't make it without donations, without people contributing. And um, so I want to thank all of you for contributing. Uh, hope to you continue. Thank you very much.